Hello, this is Jack Garrett with Discovery Park of America, and I hope that everyone's having an excellent Thursday morning. Today I'm bringing you another virtual Earth Science Week lesson, and today we're going to be looking at groundwater, but first we're going to take a look at this diagram that I've printed out for you. This diagram is representative of an aquifer unit, which is what you drill into when you uh, are drilling wells. So we've got a couple of confining units here that are in this grayish color. This water is in blue. The white columns that we have here are traditional wells of varying lengths. Two of the wells that we have are drilled down into the confined aquifer. One of them is drilled into the unconfined aquifer. Typically, the best water comes from the confined aquifer because these two rock layers prevent various contaminants from percolating into the source. The wells that are drilled into the confined aquifer are called artesian wells. The well that is drilled into the unconfined aquifer is called a water table well. The dotted line that is going across the top of the diagram is called the potentiometric surface, which is the theoretical level that the water of the confined unit would rise to. So since it only applies to the confined aquifer, it only applies to these two artesian wells. You can see that the surface line only crosses one of the wells but it does not cross one. Keep in mind that the dotted line is representative of the surface that the water would rise to. So that means if the entirety of a drilled well is below the dotted line, that it would not require a pump and is what we see here. You may ask yourself, can you drain an aquifer entirely of its water? The answer is yes, you can. This occurs when you withdraw water greatly or greater than its rate of recharge. And you can see the rate of recharge or the recharge area here on this diagram. This often occurs, and these aquifers naturally recharge from precipitation or mountain runoff. There are several sources in which an aquifer can be recharged. So once we're done looking at this, you can begin the activity. So what we're going to need is a small plastic cup to deposit some of our water and a large plastic cup filled with sand. And what we've done here <clears throat> is that we've taken a piece of mesh and wrapped it around this pencil. And then once we have this mesh wrapped around the pencil, you may then pierce the sand. Once you have pierced the sand, leave the mesh behind and withdraw the pencil. Once you have withdrew the pencil, you may, be then, you may then begin adding your water. You may notice that some of the sand did not enter this piece of mesh, and that is exactly what we want. This is representative of our traditional pump well, and our pump is what we're using this is a medicine dropper that you can obtain from any, typically any store. And we are going to insert the pump into the mesh and begin withdrawing some of the water. You may notice that inside of this mesh, it takes a little bit longer for the water to recharge than it does the surrounding area. This is exactly what happens within a well. If your withdrawal rate is greater than the recharge rate, it will take some time for the water to run back into the well. This is why you want your withdrawal rate to be equal or less than the recharge rate because you don't want to run out of water. Thank you.